This is your host, Yoshino, and you're listening to Artists Decoded. I'm here with David Chaffetz, and we are here in collaboration with Gallery 1261. And yeah, do you want to talk a little bit about the donation sale that you and 1261 are going to be doing? Yeah, Gallery 1261 and I are uh, collaborating, and um, we're going to have like a charity sale. So all the paintings that are currently in stock at um, all my paintings that are currently in stock at 1261, uh, 40% of the sale price will go to a charity, um, specifically a charity or a good cause or relief fund of the buyer's choice. Um, and I think that that portion is really important because like, I think uh, it'd be great. So people can feel free to, you know, donate locally or to something specific in their community. Yeah, I feel like at this weird time, people are, many people are probably kind of like yearning to uh, have a way to help in some way. And, um, and probably feeling like purchasing a painting is a little bit frivolous, um, especially yeah. when there are so many people um, in need. Um, so this could do both, you know, like uh, give some to help, uh, your local community or whatever um, charity you like, and then also get a painting. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah, it's a, so the sale is already in progress and um, uh, yeah. And actually this uh, painting behind me right here, this new painting is also going to be included in this. So, yeah. So use that stimulus checks wisely. <laughs> exactly. Go to gallery 1261's <laughs> website and buy up all of David Schaefer's <laughs> Chaffetz paintings. Goodness, I always mess up on your name. Oh, thank you, my goodness. Well, this would be really... It's only the fourth time today. I know, I know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this oh, would be much more embarrassing if I didn't know you so well. Um, <laughs> and also, you have a miniatures, a miniature solo show coming up yes. on November 7th, right? Yeah, going to have um, yeah, a little uh, minis um, uh, show um, right in that time period before Christmas, so... Yeah. Cool. David put out a post about um, having some questions, some audience, quote unquote, fan questions <laughs> out there. And uh, we're going to answer some of those uh, or I'm not going to answer them. You're going to answer them and I'm going to ask them, ask the right. questions. So uh, Ann Stewart Art at Ann Stewart Art says, how do other interests in your life enhance or contribute to your painting? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Anne. Um, great question. Um, I think uh, mainly in terms of balancing, not necessarily like um, changing the way I paint, but just balancing my lifestyle of painting. <laughs> um, so my interests, I guess, I wouldn't even call them interests. I call them like just like a part of my life, um, lean towards physical stuff. Um, and that really adds balance to the painting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like I, like I need, if I just had one of those, I would feel very incomplete, but on the best day, you know, I can get both in, I can lift weights or go to jujitsu and paint. Um, so mm -hmm. yeah, my interests serve as balance. And of course, the other part is just family and parenting. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. This is where you do that subtle pan over to your squat rack. Yeah. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Let's, let's, Hey, let's throw, let's throw four plates on there, baby. You can do it. Come on. Come on. You can do, do it. Yeah, qu quarantine. No way. This guy's quads are fully, fully engaged. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> All right. So at fine art first says, yeah, I would love to hear you talk about why you paint. Hi, Colt. Thanks for the question. Um, yeah. Why I paint um, really. Um, I feel like it could have been, anything uh, creative. Um, I probably could have been content with any sort of creative pursuit, but painting just uh, filled or checked all the boxes, like um, very independent, um, 
very immediate. Um, like it's just happening right in front of me. There's nothing to wait for. Um, I can just see results as I do it. Um, I get my own boss. I can control my own schedule. <clears throat> so it, it, it's got everything. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, that's why I paint. I think, um, uh, I was the way I was raised, um, was thinking about work as like, I think some people, you know, um, they work to live, um, and their, their main passions are outside of the work, you know, they work to support other cool things that they like. Um, but, uh, I guess being fortunate enough, um, um, to be able to live to work, you know, like part of what I like about my life is the actual act of doing this work of painting. Um, so, um, yeah, that's why I paint. Um, it's a important, uh, Peace. <laughs> cool. At Adden underscore Z says, would you consider yourself a successful artist? Yeah, the definitions of success, I look at it more generally um, or broadly. Like uh, if, if your art brings you fulfillment, I think that's success. Um, but uh, professionally, um, yes, I think... I'm, as, lo as long as uh, I can continue to um, uh, practice my art for a living, then it's a success. Um, there's really nothing, there's levels in that, but there's that, yeah, I don't feel like I'm lacking for anything. I think that's, if I can just continue that, I will be totally content. Akimi Anari says, what are some of your favorite modern day living artists aside from Yoshino? Hmm, that's weird. Awfully specific. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's very specific. Well, whatever, you know, <laughs> I mean, she said it. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, <laughs> it's valid, valid question. Valid um, question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, you know, I, I love, uh, I like a lot of artists. Um, um, so that's a huge question. And I feel like if I, I answered like, uh, I, you know, like a list format, I would like be like five minutes after we hung up, I would be kicking myself because I forgot like my favorite one or something like that. <laughs> so I'll just, <laughs> so I'm going to yeah. cop out a little bit and I'll answer like what maybe my favorite painters in like the past couple of weeks. Hmm. And yeah, just the ones that are like, cool. that are like hitting me like, um, um, recently, um, or actually for a while, but especially recently, um, Zoe Frank, her mm. paintings. Oh, man. totally. Um, yeah, she is a genius. Like though, and I think part of it is like uh, her work is so um, amazing to me because that's um, not how my brain works. Like I, I feel like she can, she's finding. Um, scenes or subject matter that I could never ever see a painting in, you know, like I definitely, they're, they're so, they're so like, if I saw that scene in real life um, or those objects or those people, I would just be like, Oh, that's just, you know, <laughs> that's just stuff. I, that's you know normal. That's nothing. Mm -hmm. But when she um, paints them, it's just spectacular. So, you know, like, it's like, you know, you're scrolling through Instagram and like, but every time I hit one of her posts, I have to stop and I have to look and I have to zoom in, you know, that that's pretty rare. Like in terms of Instagram, you know, you're, you're just like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, um, her paintings are amazing. Um, yeah. She definitely knows how to find the beautiful moments in the mundane. Yeah. And transform, yeah, just transforms them into something like stunning. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, totally. Um, so two other people currently, you know, or past few weeks that are 
months or whatever that I love you know, I love how you associate this 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 is the action this is the action but and the right. funny thing is the funny thing is is everyone knows what you're talking about <laughs> yeah, no, it's, yeah it's, yeah, yeah, it's kind of like going like this you know like rolling up the win- window although no one does that anymore it's more like oh this. yeah yeah actually <laughs> yeah I actually forgot what that was when you started doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, are you I mix, mean, mixing something? Oh, totally. Totally. I'm totally mixing things. Yeah. Totally mixing metaphors. It just happens. It happens sometimes. Yeah. You know, when, you, when you're when you a brilliant artist and just like totally introspective and insightful and... <sighs> I'm just kidding. All right. So what are the other artists? Oh, yeah. Other artists? So two other ones that keep on stopping me. Um, uh, Mia Bergeron. Um, oh, yeah. Her paintings always, I always have to stop. And Julio Reyes, mm. I always have to stop at his too, because like, it's like the brushwork is just insane. Um, so yeah, um, I like a lot of artists, but those are the ones recently that I've noticed that are just like amazing. Definitely. So, yeah. Shout out to Mia Bergeron. Yeah. Ooh. No Wave Academy. <laughs> no Wave Academy. <laughs> drop that in there. <laughs> Just drop it in there. Nice. No. All right. So, at Manny BTA underscore says, what is the relationship between the artist and the gallery? Is it worth applying to galleries or just keep hustling on your own? Um, great question. Um, Very relevant for this time period as well. Yeah. Very. Um, I think it just depends on your personality. Um, uh, personally, I like to have both. I think um, I really feel like I need both um, in some ways. Um, I'm kind of a control freak, so it works for me to operate independently. Um, but at the same time, um, I don't always want to have to be doing business stuff um, because that's just less painting time. So, um, and also the gallery has um, connections and relationships that are unavailable to me. And um, it is often easier to have, you know, someone else advocate for you than to advocate for your own work, you know? So, I think you need both. I think you need to promote yourself, promote your own work, show your own work, but you also, um, if you can get involved with good gallery, they can help promote your work. They can sell your work to a whole different crowd that you're not able to reach. And then you feed off each other and help each other. Um, like, and yeah, I mean, if, if you're horrible with people, <laughs> like uh, you uh, have problems with communication or you just come across weird, then you might just want to do galleries. That's probably fine too. Um, I think it just depends on um, what you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And also finding someone that you trust too, since someone that advocates for you and has your best interests. So uh, let's see, where's uh, David Etheridge's uh, email address so we can just plop that in right here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bloop, <laughs> right there. <laughs> email him for gallery representation, 1261 of Ben K Contemporary. <laughs> All right, nice. so at Ramon underscore creator, what are some of the underrated challenges one can come across when trying to live off of art? Yeah. um, When you're making a living with art, you can, it kind of can uh, um, become uh, very um, like (laughs) steamrolly. Like you're just going, 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 going. And to know when you need to, stop for a second and consume some good art um, to kind of recharge uh, your batteries. That I think for some people and for me is actually really challenging. Like it's because it feels wrong. Like it feels like I need to, I should spend like all my time just like gotta, 
got to do art, <laughs> got to create, got to uh, grow, you know, but, um, but sometimes you really do just need to like consume some art, mm. like a good movie or a good, um, good audio book or, um, um, so, yeah, something, something good. Um, because that can really just look like light a fire and, and help a lot. But, yeah. <clears throat> but knowing that, I think the <laughs> knowing the difference between when you do need to just sit your ass down and push through, um, and actually needing to, to pull back and consume art, mm -hmm. that's tricky too, because I think 95% of the time you do actually just need to do it. You just need to do the work and, um, and then inspiration, whatever that is, will come to you as you, as you continue to work. So 95% of the time, it is just, you got to keep going forward. But every once in a while, yeah, I think um, it's really beneficial to enjoy mm -hmm. someone else's art. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> this next one, you kind of <clears throat> touched on by what you just said. Um, the person's talking about, let's see. I guess I could just read it and then you can let me know. Sure. At Art by Ian White. I consistently wonder about balance between input and output. I can tend to get overly excited and eager when I am selling work and don't want to take time to slow down and learn and or practice. But I know that's a road to a quick plateau. Do you have any thoughts on ways to check myself and to see if there are red... Oh, sorry. Are... Sorry, this is <laughs> put together interesting. <laughs> and see if there are any red flags saying slow down and study for a bit. Okay, so um, okay, I th I think I see what he's saying. So I just wouldn't um, I just wouldn't separate the two. Like mm. I think it's a it's a good question. I mean, it's like should I be just making the art or improving and learning. But I think you can't think of them as different. They're the same thing. Like every time you're creating art, you are also learning and you're studying and you're improving. Um, so it's, it's all, it's all a part of it. Um, I think the trick is that it has to be, um, intentional, like, uh, like when you are painting, you are very, you're focused and everything you're deciding to do is intentional and you make calculated risks and see what happens. And then you learn from that. So painting is, yeah, becomes practice. Hmm. Um, it's the same. So that's what, yeah. I don't know if that answers the, yeah. Hmm. Does that answer the question? I, mean, uh, I don't know. Let me DM him really quick and <laughs> let, me find out, let me find out from him directly. We'll just wait. It'll be like, I don't know, maybe an hour of just me and you staring at each other intensely. Okay. That'd be good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure that, that was, that was a good answer. That'd be uh, awesome. Let's see. At Elisa Rose underscore P. And this is the last question. I know that she had a lot of different questions, but I specifically picked this one. Have you ever been stuck or fallen into an artistic rut? Not on a big scale. I mean, I think at, at a time you will feel like uh, you, you hit a, um, a roadblock or a rut. Um, but that's just part of, um, that just means you're, you're right before the, uh, um, the new, um, revelation you know hmm. like you are about to transform and grow and learn something if you reach a a, a part where you're just very very frustrated or you feel like um you don't have any ideas or you suck at painting or whatever you just keep on going and then you'll all of a sudden something um something will change you know you'll learn so um that's good. Like, uh, I think there was a certain point at which um, I just accepted that <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> and decided to uh, feel good about it. Like, 
I, I, you know, I just wiped out two paintings in a row or like, I can't think of what to paint or this. Yeah. I just suck. I am. I, I suck at painting. <laughs> That's good feelings to have because that just means you are about to evolve. Mm. So it's kind of good. Just keep working. And then, um, and um, use those, you know, use those to go forward. Um, kind of on, on a, so that's on like a bigger scale, but on like a, a smaller scale, like if like in the course of a day, I'm feeling stuck on a painting or I don't quite know what the next step will be. That usually means I just need to move my body. Like hmm. um, maybe the blood flow or something, oxygen, I don't know, but like get some exercise, or take a walk and then come back. And that almost always fixes that problem for me. Um, so yeah, that's what I would suggest. Cool. Awesome, man. Well, thanks. Thanks for doing this. Yeah. And uh, where can people find your work? Um, gallery 1261. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. Um, uh, on my website, um, you know, davidchavis.com or my Instagram. I don't really do Facebook that much. I just kind of make the Instagram go to Facebook. So Instagram. So yeah. Um, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. All right. You heard yeah. it from him. David cheesits.com. <laughs> <laughs> David's cheesits. <laughs> don't worry it's a forwarding oh, address it's not your actual permanent address <laughs> anyways man oh, all right well man. thanks thanks, thanks right. for doing thanks for doing this man of course Appreciate it. absolutely all right uh yeah have a good one all right all right, <laughs> all right. bye